Rich Tarani with TMC here. Thanks for watching. We're in San Jose this week, and on our program right now is Rich Peterson. He's the director of software marketing of the uh, Flash Soft product team at SanDisk. Now, many of us know SanDisk is a company that uh, supplies memory technology for numerous consumer electronics devices. The company also provides products that are uh, working in enterprise devices, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to the show. Thanks very much. It's nice to meet you. So uh, let's start at the top. Tell us about uh, what your area of the company does and what sorts of products you provide. Sure, sure. So uh, FlashSoft is a part of SanDisk's enterprise storage solutions business. And SanDisk uh, is now providing uh, flash technology to enterprise customers, both uh, solid state drives and solid state accelerators, which are put into servers. But they're also now providing software, software that enables these drives to deliver greater benefit, greater efficiency to the enterprise. So FlashSoft is a, an all software solution that enables the organization to get the best results from uh, flash memory installed in its servers. So we can think of that as uh, like caching 2.0? Yeah. Is that a good way of putting yes. it? Yes. Basically what the software does is it enables the uh, server to access, to put just the hot data onto the solid state drive. So you may have a very large data set, but you can support the, uh, the reduction of the input output, the latency there. You can uh, increase the performance of the server with just a small amount of flash. So immediately video comes to mind as a... Uh, an application that would be uh, quickly enhanced because you, with video you kind of have a sense of where the next block of data is coming from, or, or you know, and you know you're going to read the next block after that. Sure, is sure. That, is that one example? Are there any other examples? Oh yeah, many many examples. Basically, um, when you look at where I/O latency has become an issue in the enterprise, we see things like virtualization, uh, databases, online applications. All of these are essentially slowed down by what people call the I/O bottleneck. And so we have customers in financial services that need to do analytics on large data sets. And we have customers that are uh, trying to increase the performance or migrate business critical applications into virtual machine environments. So those are all use cases where uh, reducing I.O. latency in the server is going to deliver an enormous benefit. Now, how does that function with uh, the RAID systems or your solutions function with today's RAID systems that's that companies the, may use? That's a really good question because it leads into sort of the broader issue, which is, how can you implement a solution into the data stream that's not intrusive, that doesn't disrupt what the organization is already invested in? And um, the best way to do that is to implement the solid state cache in the server itself so that it's completely transparent to the RAID and the, the entire underlying storage infrastructure. So we slip into the uh, server and the storage system is uh, completely unaffected. Now, there are a number of startup companies that have looked at this opportunity to mm -hmm. provide uh, flash-based storage uh, to, to companies that have large data sets and you know, they just need performance improvements. Uh, is it fair to say that your company is competing with those companies but has the added advantage of this large consumer product category that allows them to have, I guess, uh, cross R&D and also gives you more financial stability? Is that a way of competing against the other well, new entrants? Yes, you know, Flashsoft did begin as one of those startups. So uh, we were acquired by SanDisk in February of this year and Essentially, we're still executing at startup speed, but we are uh, working with the resources of this much larger organization. So we've grown faster, we've put more resources into product development, and we've been to really, we've really been able to accelerate the pace at which we've come to market with our with our technology. And have you seen the synergies cross over between the enterprise and consumer, or is it too soon? Um, there is synergy. There's definitely operational synergy. I mean, you know, we walked into an organization that had so many things already laid out and, and executing that we were able to focus on really getting the technology right and making those customers uh, as happy as possible. So uh, anything we left off or what's next that we that your viewers might want to know about? It's a very young market. There are going to be a lot of solutions. There are going to be a lot of different paths to success. Uh, we've worked closely with very large customers and very large industry partners in order to make sure that we're on the right track. And I would say keep your eye out, see what decisions are being made by the large players in terms of how solid state is being implemented in the enterprise and keep your eye on that, and I think you'll see, uh, you'll see some success from our side. Excellent. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your time.